Welcome friends, back by popular demand and viewer request, another audiobook animation by George Washington Carey. This series will be from the Tree of Life, an expose of the physical regenesis, published in 1917. I spent several hundred hours over the past couple of years and I've touched on every one of the books. Uh, biochemic Systems of Medicine, God, Man, The Word Made Flesh, The Antichrist, Chemistry of Human Life, The Wonders of the Human Body, The Zodiac and the Salts of Salvation, Transmutation was the last one that we just did. So I'm only going to concentrate on the, the third section of the Tree of Life because each one of those, those books or all of his books that I just mentioned, he goes back and reiterates things from the other books. They're kind of like copy and paste, huge swaths of copy and paste. And my resources are, are very limited. I work on a very small laptop, so I'm not going to go through and do the whole, the whole book. But I will leave the PDF listed below if you want to read the whole book as well as uh, links for the other George Carey, Dr. George Washington Carey playlist on the books that I have done. I've tried a different format with this video to try to enhance and enlarge the text as well as uh, the imagery that you see. So I'm going to have to do these in small little like 15 minute blocks. Otherwise my, the, the, my, my little laptop will just freeze and and then we won't get anywhere. So I hope that you guys enjoy and please be sure to hit the like button so that the uh, YouTube algorithm picks it up. I'm a very small channel and um, it'll just give the opportunity to others to, to, to view the content who wouldn't regularly be able to. Dr. George Washington Carey, 1917, Tree of Life. Part 3, The Optic Thalamus, or The Optic Chasm. The inner eye, quote, the eye behind the eye, end quote, just above the attached to the pineal gland, by delicate electrical wires. This is called the optic thalamus, or the optic chasm, and means, quote, light, or eye of the chamber, end quote. In Greek, it means, quote, light of the world, end quote, the candlestick, the wise virgins, the temple needs no light of the sun. If thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. And all other texts in the New Testament, they refer to the single eye or the optic thalamus. Let us now search for the oil that feeds this wonderful lamp the all-seeing eye. Christ Jesus is made to say, quote, I am the light of the world, end quote. The word world comes from whirl, W-H-I-R-L, to turn as a wheel or to gyrate. The human body is a certain rate of activity, motion, or whirl, i.e. world and the light of the world and the temple that needs no light of sun or moon refer to the body or quote temple of God end quote where there is quote oil in the lamp end quote air is not sanctified by age it behooves every lover of truth to cast aside prejudice and dogma and find the truth until we know the meaning of the words, quote, Jesus and, quote, Christ, we will not understand the Bible, which was written in Greek and Hebrew, translated, retranslated, to suit the whims and ignorance of priests and charlatans all down through the centuries. Constantine, a beast in human form, 
who murdered his mother and boiled his wife in oil, was the chief factor in the orthodox translation of the so-called King James Bible. Constantine was told by the priests of his time that there was no forgiveness of crimes like those that he was guilty of, and so this Roman emperor devised the plan of salvation in order that the blood of the innocent Jesus, or the Christ, might save him from eternal damnation. An easy way out for this monster, and all other blood-smeared tyrants, kings, emperors, Napoleon of finance, competition and war, from Pharaoh to the present-day rulers whose thrones and scepters lie scattered and broken along the highway of nations. Here the vassal and the king side by side lie withering, here the sword and the scepter rust earth to earth and dust to dust. The word Jesus is from ichthys, Greek for fish. The word, quote, Christ means a substance of oil consistency, an ointment or a smear. Varnish or paints are used to preserve or save wood or paper or cloth, hence they become saviors. At about the age 12, Jesus was found in the temple arguing with the doctors or teachers. The word, quote, doctor, is from Latin, docere, to teach. Now read carefully. Every month in the life of every man or every woman, when the moon is in the sign that the sun was at the time of birth, there is a psychoactive seed or a psychophysical seed called the son of man, born near the solar plexus or in the pneumogastric plexus which in ancient text was called, quote, the house of bread, end quote, the tree of life, etc. Bethlehem is from Beth, a house, a helm, or bread. Quote, cast thy bread upon the waters, and it shall be returned to thee after many days, end quote. Waters are the blood and nerve fluids of the body which carry the fish on its divine journey to regenerate, save, and to redeem man. Nazarene means cooked. Cooked means to be prepared. Any materialized thing is bread, Nazareth, Mass, Mezo, or dough, thus Catholic Mass. Also Mason. It will now be made plain why the Masons and the Catholics are not in agreement for our letter N is the abbreviation of the 14th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, Nun, a fish. By adding the N to Mezo, the riddle of the cooked or prepared fish was made so plain that the priesthood strenuously objected, and thus developed friction between the church and masonry. The disciple were fishermen. The early Christians used a fish as their secret symbol and money to pay taxes was taken from the mouth of a fish. Bread and fish were increased until twelve baskets were full, were left, etc., etc. God prepared a fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah means dove. Dove means peace, the germ descending from the gray matter of the brain, i.e. baptism of John by Jesus, of Jesus by John, the storm means sex desire. The life seed was thus saved. Quote, he that is born of God cannot sin, for his seed, fish, remaineth in him. End quote. The age of puberty is about twelve years old. Up to that age, a child does not understand moral responsibility. Quote, the firstborn end quote, means the first seed or fish. Pharaoh, or sex desire, always tries to destroy the firstborn. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem, he went up the pneumogastric nerve which crosses the medulla oblongata at its junction with the spinal cord. At the head of the quote, river of Jordan, end quote, 
the marrow or nerve fluid of the spinal column enters the cerebellum. This is the temple where the moral seed argued with the purely animal cells to change the rate of vibration to the moral and spiritual concept. Later, this seed, Jesus, drove those who bought and sold, quote, even as you and I, end quote, with a whip of thongs out of the temple. We must all give up the animal life or suffer the same fate. Before we explain the baptism in the Jordan and the christening in the crucifixion, let us briefly explain Moses, Joshua, the Nile, Pharaoh, as well as the children of Israel. Egypt means the dark lower part of the body. That part of the body below the solar plexus is Egypt or the kingdom of earth. All above the center constitutes the kingdom of heaven. Quote, the kingdom of heaven is within you. End quote. The manger, or Bethlehem, is the center, or the balance. The Nile, Moses, and Pharaoh's daughter all refer to generations. See the overflow of the Nile. It rises in mountains of the moon. Moses means, quote, drawn from the water. Fish are drawn from the water. There are two fishes in our sea. Vom, see the sign of Pisces, or the two fishes. Joshua, the son of Nun. Nun is Hebrew for fish. Moses was the physical or generative fish. Moses' laws were on the physical plane, but Joshua's laws on the spiritual plane. Joshua means, quote, God of salvation, end quote, and salvation comes from saliva, or salivation. Sal is salt, which saves. Quote, if the salt loses its savor, i.e. savior, wherewith shall it be salted, end quote. Saliva saves the body by digesting, or preparing, the food. Saliva is a smear or an ointment, and so Joshua compares with Christ, as Moses compares with Jesus. Moses died on Mount Nebo, and Nebo means understanding. Joshua took the place left vacant by the death of Moses. Jesus was baptized of John in the Jordan, or in the fluids, the Christ substance of the spinal cord and became, quote, my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. There is no J in the Greek or Hebrew alphabets. Therefore, the word John or I-O-H-N meaning, quote, soul or fluids of the body, end quote, and not ego or spiritual man. So when the body dies, so the fluid dies, thus man loses his soul when he loses his body. To prevent the loss of soul and flesh is the mission of the Son or the Seed of God or the Son of Man. There are two very small nerves that extend up from the solar plexus, cross at the base of the brain, and unite at the optic thalamus, the eye of the chamber. These nerves, or delicate wires, are also called the ida and pingala, or the vagus nerve. After the seed or the fish has been christified or christed, if it's been retained and not wasted in sexual or earthly desires, it goes up to, quote, Golgotha, the place of the skull, and crosses the wires, then it remains there an additional three days in the tomb or the three chambers of the pineal gland. It enters the optic thalamus or the optic chasm and quote giveth light to all that are in the house that is Beth or the body. All the twelve functions represented by the twelve disciples, the twelve signs of the zodiac and the twelve cranial nerves or twelve pairs of cranial nerves. But the question will be asked, what or where is the source or the origin of this seed or this redeeming sun? 
we answer ether, spirit, or God, as names mean nothing in this respect. Essay, or essence, or universal intelligence, or capital IT, may be used. It breathes into man the breath of life. This elixir is carried through the lungs into the arteries, or the air carriers, where it unites with inorganic cell salts, and then materializes, or is cooked, prepared, and then forms granules, and is deposited as flesh and bone. Reader's note, Christ, or Jesus, came in the flesh. End of Part 1, Section 3, The Tree of Life, by Dr. George Washington Carey. Watch for Part 2 coming soon. If you enjoyed the content and you'd like more of these types of videos, please consider becoming an Ark of the Covenant Patreon member. But please note, I do not offer any Patreon member perks or secret videos. Uh, content as I feel that giving or withholding spiritual information based solely on financial abil ability uh, very non-ethical I just don't want to be there but if you want to help um, to create more videos like these uh, even a dollar a month a cup of coffee so that's it you guys watch the playlist make sure that you have the bell clicked so that you don't miss anything and love yourselves and love each other unconditionally.